Hi, this is Master Salona. In this video, we will be reviewing Dan Gum Hyung. Dan Gum Hyung is the short bladed form. For our short bladed weapon, we'll be using the knife. I'm practicing as you should with a non bladed weapon, no live blades for practice purposes. This form is a second degree black belt level form that is used to test for third degree black belt. We're going to start with our chariot, chun bi. Ha! This form has a special chun bi, just like basai, sipsu, nahanchi chodan. So the way the special chun bi goes is you'll bring your left foot to your right. Your knife would be in a sheath. So you would press your belt with your left hand to hold that sheath in place while you use your right hand to grab onto the handle and maintain that sheath staying in your belt. Once your knife is removed from its sheath, your left hand is going to cover the blade and you're going to stand up straight. Your arms are going to be parallel with the earth. Your blade will be pointing towards the left. From here, the first move is going to be an exposure, lift, and then step back with my right foot and stab straight back. While I do that, my left hand does a low block with my hand open. Ha! There is also a key up on this first move. Let's try it together. One. Ha! One more time. Go. Ha! When you throw this technique, it's important that you make sure your blade is going directly straight. A common mistake is that people's blade points in one direction or the other. Make sure you're controlling the location that it's landing. It should be going directly straight behind you. Let's do that from our chun bi. Dan gum hyung chun bi. One. Ha! The next thing I'm going to do is take my left foot and move it over into a front stance. My right hand is going to do a horizontal cut. My left hand is chambering. From here, my right foot is going to throw a front kick and I'm gonna follow it up with two cuts. Front kick, inside, outside cut, outside, inside cut, land in a horse stance. So we did our first move. We shifted into our front stance, front kick, into out, I'm in a fighting stance during this in to out cut. Shift, horse stance on the out to in cut. Let's do that one more time. Go. Okay, now I need to switch hands. My left hand's gonna come on the bottom. I'm gonna sandwich the knife between my two hands. My left hand will grab. My right hand's gonna chamber. My right foot's gonna step out into that front stance. Cut, left foot, front kick, fighter stance, in to out cut, horse stance, out to in cut. So I'm repeating that sequence now on the second side. So I did front, in to out, out to in. Let's try it from the beginning. We'll go from our chin beat. One, ha, two, Three, four, five. Okay, the next technique. I have another hand switch. I'm gonna step forward with my right foot and do a fighting stance while I'm doing an up cut. So while I do this, my left hand's gonna chamber. My right hand comes up. I'm dragging the blade up. When I do this, my knife is not gonna be pulled back, obviously, and it's not gonna go all the way up this way, just on an angle straight up. This way. Okay, let's add on from there. When I complete this up cut, I'm gonna turn 180 degrees and do an out to in horizontal cut in a fighting stance towards the rear. I'm going to continue in that direction with my right foot. Horse stance, stab, jump, 
180 degrees towards my right, staying fast. And a key up. So if I was doing this from the side, just so you could see, it would look like this. Turn, stepping stab, jumping cut. Let's try that from the up cut. Up cut, turn 180 degrees, stepping stab, jump stab. Okay, let's try that from the beginning chundi. One, ha! two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Step and step. Hiya! That's going to be one count. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our right foot in the right direction. You're going to drive the knife across the lapel, angle cut right inside the collarbone. You're going to be aiming right in the soft spot, right in here. So we go from our stepping stab towards our right with our right foot front stance, stab one. Pull the knife out, pull into fighting stance in between the ribs. Stab two, pull out, land in horse stance, center stab. So there are three techniques and three stance changes for that one technique after our jumping stab. Look, one, two, three. Let's do that one more time from our jump stab. One, two, three. We're going to look left, step with my right foot all the way through and complete that same sequence again. One, two, three. Let's do that whole thing from the jump stab. Go. Go. Okay, let's add on two more moves. I'm going to look up, step with my right, up cut like we did before. Now I'm going to take my thumb and my index finger, put it on the handle of my blade, flip the knife, step back. You should not be able to see my knife on. I'm in a fighting stance. Step forwards, center stab. When I do the center stab, I want you to take note of two details. Detail one, my finger goes out along the blade. Detail two, my back hand is kind of like my fin. So it's going to be kind of like a backward spear hand. Open and going along the same line as my leg. So it should look like this. So from our three stab combo, one, two, three, we have our up cut to change. I'm going to use my thumb and my index finger. I'm going to flip the knife, pull back, step and stab. So we had one, two, three. One, flip, step back, two, step and stab. There is a key up with that move. So there's some fancy handwork in there. Make sure you have those turns worked out. Let's try that from the beginning. From our chumbi. One.
After we do the stepping stab, we have another knife transition. So when we completed the stab, our blade was pointing up. So from here, just like before, I'm going to use my thumb and my index finger. I'm gonna drop the blade into my grip. I completed my stab, drop the blade into my grip. I'm gonna turn 180 degrees, horizontal cut. Step back with my right foot, inside, outside block. Then my right foot is going to pick up. I'm going to punch with my left hand, step into horse stance, stab. So if I was facing the side, I would have my knife transition, turning inside, outside block, step back with my left, inside, outside block, pick up my right foot, punch, step through, horse stance, stab. This is one of my favorite sequences of the form. Let's do that one more time. Stepping stab, transition, turn cut, step back, inside outside block, punch, step in a horse stance and stab. The next part of the form looks like this. It's a pretty long sequence and probably the one that gives practitioners the most amount of difficulty. So I'm gonna do it in multiple directions, starting in the direction I'd be going if I was completing the form, which would be in the rear. So I just completed the stab. I'm going to shuffle forwards and do a high-low stab. High-low. I'm going to turn, and if you remember, we did that sandwich, the first nice hand transition we did. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it behind my back. Turning, I'm transitioning behind my back, and I'm going to do low high, low high, as I shuffle forwards. Let's practice just that. So we landed in our stab, shuffle forward, high low, transition, sandwich, behind my back, low high. So if I was moving from my stab here, I would come in high, low, transition behind my back, sandwich, and continue low, high. Let's do that one more time. So I landed in my horse stance, high, low, sandwich transition, low, high. Now I'm going to continue. I have another hand transition. I'm going to come over to my right hip, spinning back kick, and I'm landing in the exact same move that I started the form in. Fighting stance, down block, straight back stab. So that technique is shuffle, 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 spinning back kick. Shuffle, 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 spinning back kick. Let's do it one more time. High, low, sandwich transition. Low, high. This time, chain or transition at your right hip. Spinning back kick. Fighting stance, the same move that we did from the beginning of the form. We're almost at the end of the form at this point. Let's go all the way through. One, ha, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, hey one, two, three, four. that last side kick from this position, 
We're now going to shift our left foot out into a front stance and our right hand will do a horizontal cut. We're going to execute a right leg side kick. While I do that, I like to bring my blade to my left hip. Then I'm going to step forward into a horse stance for a right side stab. Side kick, stab. To finish out the form, we're going to turn towards the rear and 180 degrees horizontal cut. I'm going to close with my dangong chun gi, pick up my right foot, turn on my left, close the form. So again, after we throw our side kick and we land in this position, we have a left foot step transition, cut with our right, right leg side kick, stab, horse stance, turn, horizontal cut, and borrow. Let's do that one more time together. So we landed after our side cut, side kick, step, cut, Side kick stab, horse uh, fighting stance, horizontal cut, finish. Let's try the entire form. Chariot, chun bi, ha! Dan gum hyung, chun bi. Begin. Okay, keep practicing. See you on the mat. Tongsu.